Right, updates. This was going to be a quick job. I didn't think I'd bother putting gloves on, but that was a mistake for a start. Um, it's also nursery, there's a nursery down there. Uh, it's just kicking out time. Um, not kicking out time-ish. Just after five. Um, so it might get a bit busy with traffic. Uh, Apologise for that. Fiesta, we're back onto that one. Um, I will... Um, I think I've done enough now. I've had the XFR for about a month. So the intention is to do another video of everything I found wrong with it. And there's quite a lot. Um, nothing major, but it's a bit of a... What do I do next? Because I can spend thousands um, making the car like right up to tip top, which would be good and it would be entertaining to do. Um, but you could also spend the same money and buy another car that's not as bad in the first place. But... I'll come back to that one and, and dog, bleh, process my thoughts and uh, it's just there, look. Uh, as you can tell, it's just there behind the camera. Um, you'll, you'll get some thoughts on that in a moment, but on the meantime, we're on to the Fiesta. So as part of me um, putting it up for sale, it's been on the on the eBay for a little while, um, and I thought I'll just chuck the battery on, make sure it's got a nice charge, and it's fully charged, because someone had inquired about it, gave it a quick wash, said they were gonna come and view it, and then didn't bother. Um, so, unfortunately, uh, not unfortunately, fortunately I guess for the new owner, um, when I've put the battery on charge, I've come to try and close the bonnet and it would not go down. Um, I've actually taken this off, which isn't the most convenient things to show you. I've taken the thing off, I think i found what's wrong with it. So I'll obviously record this video and I'll have fixed it and sorted it before it gets published. But what I think has happened here um, is the catch is broken. To get the catch out, this drops in that way around maybe. Go a tad forward. That drops in there. Um, I've actually put the screws in the wrong way, but there are two. I put them back in so I don't lose them. There are two bolts there, not screws, bolts. That bolt in through behind here. So if you want to get it out, you have to take those two out. Uh, there's also a bracket on the top, which I don't know if that holds it in. Yeah, that stops from coming out as well. So you've got two here, one back there. So you've got three, and I've used a. Uh, what T30 to get them out? Um, you can use a flathead by the looks of it as well if you needed to. So those three have come out. Just move that out of the way. It's just holding a wire on that looks like it's plugged into. I don't even know. Front impact sensor. Not sure. It definitely wasn't bonnet sensor because the bonnet wasn't closed and it didn't tell me. Um, so there's that. Now the actual catch itself. So what I think is happening here is if you flip it open, that that bit. First of all, the secondary. It's working all right. That's got a little spring. Or even the same spring. No, different spring. So it's got a spring. Uh, that is all working just as it should do. Um, here, I think is my problem on this bit here. So on the inside of the car, that's the cable that goes to the bit behind or under the dash. That cable comes in. It's a bit like a, like a push bike. It comes into here, um, and then it pulls that to release the bonnet. And if you look, I've just pulled it back manually and there's nothing coming back. It's on a spring and then it closes again when you've closed the boot, uh, the bonnet. Um, or maybe it's, like this is a bit that comes down. So when you put the, when you put this part here, obviously it's had problems before because someone's put some tape on it. So when that comes down and goes into the hole, that gets pushed down and it should lock into place behind that bracket. You can see there the pointy bit, it goes in under that bit there. Now there's no real resistance in that spring at all. And I'm hoping that it's that lack of resistance which is causing me an issue. So, new bracket's only about 11 quid. I'll give it a try and let you know, get on. So you might be able to tell it's a little bit on the uh, damp side out there this morning. Um, the Fiesta bonnet caps, the new one's arrived. So I just thought I'd quickly show you that one before I put it on. Um, it is quite straightforward. So I'm gonna nip outside and do it uh, in the rain and just show you afterwards and see if it's fixed it. So the catch itself, you can see a uh, similar mechanism. It's got the the yellow tab on the back there, which is the sort of secondary release. Oh, as you pull that, it opens up so you can actually release the bonnet. And there's then that little bracket there, and you can see the way to fit the cable in. You go, the, oh, oh, it's not very easy to tell. Right, so you put the cable in that hole there and then it locks in place down the back here. Um, but what I said on the other lock, if you remember, well, and another part to the lock is that you come down here and that's where the 
the actual bonnet, the little catch on the bonnet will, will clip into this bit and then that locks in place. I don't know if you can make that out down there. It's not so easy, but that locks in place onto this, this bracket. And that's the one that's got the cable on it. And as you can tell on there, when you pull that back, so that lock is on this spring. This one is on that spring there. And that one has got a lot of resistance, which the other one didn't. So I think I'm ready to put it on and make it work. Right, so here we go. Um, the bonnet catch is back in situ. As you can see, to get it out, it was the same, or put it back in again, it's the same thing. Um, you need to be careful that when you're lining up, there's a cable here with a like metal grommet on it, and you've got a bracket just there as well. And that makes sure that the cable is at the right length. Um, as I said in the previous bit, you poke the top through here. Um, so you can see that the, the little nodule on the end is thicker than the hole. So it, it will grip to that, but it goes through that top bit. Back in again, um, just tested it. I closed the, uh, or put the bracket right down. Um, and then I released it on the inside just to make sure that that's all okay. And um, we've then got the two, two bolts, one there, one there. That holds the bracket in, or not the bracket, the, the clip itself in. Uh, that's your mechanism for releasing the second stage catch. And over here, I'm not 100% sure what that's doing. Maybe it's a crash sensor or something on there, I don't know, but uh, I'm just gonna put these uh, back in, these little screw type things back on, and then we're all good. So hopefully that's helped you out a little bit. I hope that's helped you out. It's just a very quick um, video for the Fiesta bonnet catch. If you've got a sticking one or one that won't close or something like that, uh, that's the way to have a little look at it. It's, it's not a very complicated thing. And um, the other thing that you might have is that your cable, I guess, might snap. So just check on the ends and see if those end bits are still in place in those two locations. You've got one there and one underneath the dashboard. If the two ends are still in place and you've got a lot of slack, then just be careful. You want to try and feed the cables through um, using the old cable rather than taking the cable out and then realizing that it is the cable that snapped and then trying to figure out how to get that one through. Um, but yeah, it's quite a straightforward job. Um, any shout, anyway, any, any problems with your cables or catches, then give me a shout.